Let's meet the contestant. First up, an alumni, great guy, and one of the guys who caught the eye in season two. His name, well, Emmanuel Oluwashegun Adidij. Flip the name, Adidij being the surname. Oluwashegun. Oluwashegun. Ah, he'll clear it all up when he comes. They call him Goldberg. I'm sure Shegun has other nicknames because I remember another nickname from season two. It's Goldberg at this time. Globally, he supports Arsenal. Locally, he supports Aimba. He stays in Aja, in Lagos State, and he represents Etiosa. On Twitter, he is at Femi Lokon, 1234. On Instagram, he is Shegun Black Nine. Make welcome, Uluwa Shagun, Adedeji. How are you doing, Shage? <laughs> I'm all right, fine. I'm all right, Femi. Um, I'm a little bit under the weather, so <laughs> I just have to be here. Uh, since last week, um, I have my leg and typhoid, so I've been treating it, but... Are you sure you don't um, have COVID? When, when, uh, no, 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 no. When do you take us? I think I have to just, like, um, be here. I don't want to disappoint you and um, um, the other guys also. So let's get it started. All right. Excellent. How are you, how are you feeling, though? Well, I feel pumped enough. Can I'm you do right. this? <laughs> I'm all right. So Almost. I just um I have to resume office today. I have no choice. So since last week I've been at home. So oh dear. Uh, but let's 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 do it. Let's, let's see, see how it goes. It's sounding like a Chelsea fan already. I'm an Arsenal fan. He's an Arsenal fan. Okay. <laughs> He's still under. Yeah. <laughs> 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 <Still London. laughs> His opponent, a civil engineer, supports Arsenal like Shegun <laughs> globally. <laughs> Locally, he couldn't be bothered. He stays somewhere in Ikorodu, Last Potec, Ikorodu, Lagos State. And he carries the weight of all of Ikorodu today, representing them. On Twitter, they call him at Pascal Says underscore. On Instagram, he is call me Pascal with underscores. Call underscore me underscore Pascal. Make welcome to a guy who everybody just calls Pascal. His full name, Falaye John Benga. How are you doing, John? Good evening, Femi. Or is it Benga for the for this occasion? It's John. It's John yeah. for the night. Yes. John Benga Falaye, welcome. Thank you. It's a pleasure to be here. This is your first time in the studio. Yeah. Is this your first time in any st radio studio? I mm think. -hmm. Hmm. Wear glasses like Tony. Welcome. I, yes. <laughs> funny enough, I walked into the studio and I looked at I looked at him and he was I was like, ah, Chuma is not in, he's not in the today. And then I saw the Arsenal jersey and I was like, nah, this is not him. I had to look a second time. I I'm sorry, I cracked up when you said he's an Arsenal fan as well because this is a win-win for us. <laughs> go go. <laughs> so let's go. Let's get it on the puppy. I don't know what you're trying to say. Is, it, is this the only time I not get to win anything? It's, you can never tell for me. You it just wasn't can me. never tell. I wasn't the one who said this. I rest my case. I'm After asking. all, now your team with a big glasses. It's so like, you, you I can mean, what you're saying. It. Because you want Champions League now. You want to drag no, us. No, now he's the only one that can afford to, to, want to drag us now. You can drag everybody it's in okay. this studio. It's, it's okay. We understand. It's fine. It's fine. That's how they gave Rudy a big money. Yeah, Bando Chelsea. Let's, <laughs> let's just move on. <sighs> Gentlemen, you know the deal, yeah? yeah. Are you ready? Yeah, we are ready. Shagun, you're yeah. contestant one. Yeah. You're good to go. Let's go. Uh, Pascal, uh, John. Yes, sir. You're good to go. Very good. All right. Uh, pretty simple. Um, I'll give you a minute each to outline your argument. I'll give you two minutes to go head to head and argue it out. After which, I'll give you one minute each to close. If that will work for the two of you guys, any uh, two of you, any one of you who who was not happy with that, I'm very good. You're I mean, good that's to the go. Drill. All right, and once you're done arguing, what the outcome of your arguments will uh, be in the hands of our listeners, our callers, uh, the telephone lines. Seven of them, a maximum of seven, will vote in an attempt to determine which one of you impress them more after which we'll come to the panel and then we'll go to social media the battle topic for this contest 
various reliable sources have indicated that Mauricio Pochettino is going to leave PSG with the club already in talks with other managers. Question, is it justified to sack Pochettino? Is it justifiable? Is it justified? Is it justifying? Or is it just? <laughs> justifying. Or, or is it just to fire? <laughs> <laughs> it's just to fire. Pochettino. Well, we threw this into a lottery. And out came the outcome. Shagun picked, it is justified. Whether he believes it or not, I do not know. But he is going to sound as convincing as he can be. John picked, not justified. Whether that's his actual position in real life, I do not know. But that's what he will defend because he picked it blindly like Shegun. When you vote, remember that. It's not about whether you think it's justified or not. It's about who of these two individuals impressed you more. You can feel it's unjustified and still vote for the guy who said it's justified because he impressed you. Or you can feel that it's totally justified. But the guy who said it is not impressed you with his argument. Maybe better than the other guy. And you can vote for them. Is that clear? Go to Facebook. Nigeria Info 99.3. Go to Twitter at Nigeria Info FM. We are streaming live on Facebook. We are streaming live on YouTube. And you will get to vote on both Facebook and, of course, Twitter. Uh, on Twitter when the time comes. First up, though, you'll vote via phone calls. Whoever of Shegun and John, who picks four votes, wins 20% of the votes. We'll come to the panel. Adeze, Sarafina, and Brownish. 60 percentage points. Shared 20 each between them. And they can fight for those too. Social media has got 20 points split 10-10 between Facebook and Twitter. And when we get there, we will cross that stream. Let's get into the contest big time. If we can manage, I would suggest we don't. Um, yeah, I would suggest we don't. Before we go into the contest, as we are winding down for our first break of the game, we'd like to say thank you very much for everyone joining in the participation. And the fan battle runs until the, the promo says 15th. But we are likely to have an extension, which will take it to the 22nd or so, or 23rd. So it's going to be a stretch. I think it's 28th. So the 28th. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Certainly. Confirm from what yeah. I said, 28th. So uh, we are going to have a stretch, and every single weekday will be battle day, and you can be part of it. You can sponsor any of these battles. Or the entire thing. Um, next up, from Thursday, we'll go into round two, which is a round of 24. Round of 24 teams. And we cannot wait to get there. In the meantime, we'll take a quick break. After which, we'll get these individuals ready. Uh, who was with me? Last week, Serafina? I was Friday. with you on Friday. On Friday? Yeah. Yeah, it was. I was with you, you on Friday and on Wednesday last week. Yes, certainly. Uh, and, and in. And Myself, in, Alex, and Sam. Yes. Um, is there one battler who stood out for you so far? You may not remember names, but has somebody stood out for you so far? I think my my best battle happens to be on Wednesday. Wednesday? Yeah, hmm. the first battle. The on first Wednesday. battle on yeah. Wednesday. Boots, boots. But Butler's came with a fire. So Ade Wednesday for me. Hmm. Adeze, has there any stood out for you yet? No. You're still waiting. No, not yet. Yeah. Maybe this will be the night. And Brownish, first time on jury duty for season three. No? Second. Second, yeah. I was yeah, here yeah. with you on that's, Wednesday. Yeah. Ah, that's Wednesday. true. Yeah. I was on production duty. Yes, I remember. Who caught your eye that day? Nobody. Nobody did on Nobody Wednesday. Did, unfortunately. They caught Sarafina. They didn't catch him. He's going for that We'll break. take a quick break. <laughs> and we will be back for the battles proper. Very basic battle topic. Would PSG be justified to fire Pochettino? Shagun says they would be. 
Is that correct, Chago? They would be justified. John says, nope. It will be totally unjustified. It's time for them to tell us what they mean and why. We're streaming live on Facebook, Nigeria Info 99.3. We're streaming live on YouTube via our Nigeria Info YouTube channel. It's embedded on Twitter. Our official Twitter handle is at Nigeria Info FM. You will be voting via Facebook and Twitter. You'll also be voting via the phone lines. Let's get this party started. Shagun, you are contestant one. For one minute, you open up your argument. Let us know why you feel that it will be totally justified for PSG to fire Mauricio Pochettino. Your clock is ticking. Thank you very much, Femi. Um, to succeed in Paris, you have to do what you have to be a very good coach, no matter what. And then this applies to Pochettino. Um, during the last season, Pochettino um, with his team have not been uh, like um, playing a good football for me. Because um, if you watch, why the reason Pochettino was even hired in the first place was to win the Champions League for me. If you check um, um, Thomas Tuchel, who was sacked, you understand he got to the um, um, Champions League final, which eventually lost to um, Bayern Munich, and then. Um, 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 appointing um, uh, a Mauricio Pochettino, you have to do what you have to surpass that record. If you check, he lost the Cup de France, he even lost the league last season, even this season before winning the league. PSV have been playing a shambolic football in the first place. So, for me, I think um, it's justifiable to do or to fire um, Mauricio Pochettino because um, PSG has, has gone beyond the club that yes, you can just come and, uh, and be winning a league title every season. No. Because going to to, uh, to the league every season, it's, it's, it's very obvious that, yes, PSG will win the league for me. Look at what happened last season. Even in Nantes, after just a military team at the Cup de France. So for me, it's justifiable for PSG to do what to fire uh, Mauricio Pochettino. Thank you very much. He's been under the weather. Uh, he's been ill, but you probably wouldn't know uh, by merely listening to him. Excellent. Excellent. So let's move on. Nice opening. And it's time for a retort. John Faleye says it is not justified. John, you have a full minute to introduce your arguments. Your time starts now. Thank you very much. Now, for how long um, will PSG continue to adopt the stopgap measures to run their football club? Again, I ask, for how long will the Qatar Sports Investment, who are the owners of PSG and President al Khalifi, continue to beat a dead horse. Well, it is very obvious that um, PSG definitely are one of the, are one of the power horse in, in France football. Now, this is a game of football, and this is a game that we all understand. We play football to do what? To win trophies. And if I want to defend Mauricio Pochettino here, which I'm doing, he won the league last season and the Coupe de France. They say a coach is as good as his last game. And that was what he did. He beat Monaco 2-0 in the Coupe de France final last year. Now, I don't get it when they say he deserves to be sacked. I mean, why are we in the context of football anyways if it's not for us to win trophies? Thank you very much. Interesting openings or openers for these two gentlemen. Shegunwa Dedeji. Uh, they call him Goldberg. I uh, had argued that Pochettino's sack will be justified and it was countered by John Faleye, uh, also known as Pascal, uh, who says there's no justification in sacking Mauricio Pochettino. They don't agree. Even the body language between the two men, while um, while they both spoke, showed that they don't seem to see eye to eye on this topic. I'll give them two minutes, two minutes, to argue it out amongst themselves, after which it will be time to close the argument. We'll would see if there is a need to extend the time or to shorten it as we go. But please, if you are listening at home, we'll be awaiting that point where you get to decide. Shagun spoke first, John spoke next, and now they speak together. If it is still not enough for you to make up your mind, you might wait for their closing argument. 
Shagu, John. For two minutes. Let's see how passionate about your position you both are. Okay, um, John, hang on. Um, okay. Hang on. <laughs> Let's set the clock. Yeah. It is set. Let's go. Okay, John. Emory Pochettino, we took um, um, a 30 amp team and every 30 amp to the Champions League final without even buying any player. You understand? In the transfers. In the transfers. You understand? In the transfers. So that giving them um, edge that, okay, if you can do it with 30 amp with an average player, you understand? Come over to PSG. With available resources, you have a Lionel Messi, a Neymar, a Kylian Pape, a Georginio Wydom. Do you know that he has, he has, they, have, they even have one of the biggest um, goalkeepers in the world, Donald Roman and Kylian Navas. Did they so win if trophies have, if, or not? Did they win trophies? PSG are looking beyond Ligue 1 and Coupe de France. Oh, you can't, you, yes PSG, can't be, PSG can't be making maybe like maybe one of the richest clubs uh, uh, in the world every every year. No, they, are they want to compete in Europe in the, in the Champions See, League. Very when, good. Whenever they are mentioning Real Madrid, whenever they are mentioning Barcelona, whenever they are mentioning Liverpool as European champions, PSG wants them to like to be in that list. Very so good. there is a uh, Mourinho Pochettino who was giving the free hand and everything. If you look at Mourinho Pochettino last season, he didn't play fantastic football. The likes of Nice, Nice, even beat them. So you can't, you can't, you can't, you can't make a case for this, for this coach. See, in PSG, football, PSG, Shagun, in see, football, PSG, Shagun. PSG are, are, are doing what? Are, are investing are, in this club times, to do what? They are to times, compete with the big boys in Europe. They are football when you have to give manager time to implement his ideas. With the owner, you have to with give, him, you have to give no. him time to Cali build the structure. Can we not know that? Can we not know that? We saw how Tottenham, you know that we saw how Tottenham gave Mauricio Pochettino time to build the structure. Okay. And in every season at Tottenham, he competed at the top level with how many trophies zero he came, trophies he came he came into zero PSG trophies. he came into PSG so what is the essence he of playing PSG VTB football qualifying for the Champions League every season after, and after without winning left in December fine he came in See, January 2021 it is understandable that yes you can win so every well trophy in, in that in particular in contest in the Champions okay, League look at, we are look struggling look at, to Tuchel. hear you we are struggling to hear you please look at Tuke look at Tuke look at Tuke won the the domestic treble in France you know he was still stuck he took his team to the Champions League final. He was sacked. So PSG want something that yes, okay, we need to advance from uh, the Champions League final. I've added we a minute. To, we need to win the Champions League final. No. So that's why they brought in Mauricio Pochettino. My argument. With available then, resources. My Look at Messi. We are, we How are, many got Messi even after the goal last season? We are talking about the Champions League, the Holy Grail, the yes. biggest club competition. In okay. Football. If you are in position of a Califi, if you are in position of a Califi, if you are in position of a Califi, will you take the Ligue 1 or the Champions League? It takes a lot of. Will you take the Ligue 1 or the Champions League? I will take the Champions League. Yes. Now, but then how much time has Pochettino? As Pochettino spends to implement it, so much to care. So much to care. We're not giving this much time. You know, we was not giving this much time. But then again, that's why I said PSG really, 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 really need to ask themselves. Okay, look at what the right thing. Look at what Mbappe is earning now. Look at what Neymar is earning. This, these people are playing the with some of salary. That aside, so they need. We saw, we saw, we saw how Ajax in 1992. So you want to compare Ajax and Ajax and Ajax and Ajax time to implement this idea before he won Champions League? See. See, Ali money by success in was given enough time at Manchester United. You have to, you have to put money to buy success in football. You have to put money to buy success in football nowadays. Come on, money doesn't buy success, man. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, money doesn't buy success. Come on, money doesn't buy success, man. Thank you, gentlemen. Well, the expression on Ada Ada's face <laughs> tells you everything. Uh, she's she's taking the full blow, full measure of that. Ah, spirited argument, spirited debate. What a battle. Um, I do hope, I do hope that the audiences um, were able to pick much of what you guys had to say. Um, I like the passion and emotion and all of that. Um, nobody likes a coy um, debate. Yes, and, you know, football conversations can be really, how do you say it? But at the same time, too, uh, we always want to hear you. So I'll give you both one last chance each to close your argument and make yourself uh, as audible and clear as possible. Shegun, we are contestant one, and it was your opinion, or you chose that Pochettino's sacking by PSG when indeed it comes is justified 
you have that minute, close your argument, it starts now. If you know, can be uh, can be sacked. If um, Thomas Fugger can be sacked, who took this team to the Champions League final and didn't win it? So who else is Pochettino that cannot be sacked? If Pochettino that took an average 30 amps into the Champions League final without even adding, without any addition. So you have the materials now. You have a bunch of stars. One of the one you have almost all the biggest stars in the whole world playing for you. And you look at even the dressing room. You can't even control the dressing room. So if you are telling me that yes, um, 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 winning the league every season. No, 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 no. They are pumping money into this club. And then Ekalifi needs was needs to compete with the big boys at the top. The likes of Real Madrid, Liverpool. So you can't just tell me, yeah, tell me that, okay, that, okay, um, 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 PSG need to be winning all the league. Look at even last season. He didn't win, win the cup to France. He was beating black and blue in the league. He struggled with the big boys. With the likes of Olympic Marseille, Nice, and so on and so forth. So you can't just... Tell me that okay, uh, okay, we could just give him more time. If you cannot give you know, more time, if you cannot give a Thomas to who took it to the Champions League final more time, then the sacking of um Monte Pagino could justify it. Thank you, Shegun, for taking your argument to bed. Thank you. You've done your part. It's left now to John to counter that and leave an impression after which. It will be time to vote. John, you have one minute, and your one minute starts now. First off, I need to correct an impression. PSG won the Coupe de France last season. The bit, I'm the talking bit, about this season. Oh, this, this season, season yeah. No, the season has ended, yeah, so it's last season. It should be previous if you're referring to. So you Please, I'm going to reset your clock. Shagun, 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 your mic is off. Shagun, your mic is off. You cannot interrupt him. This is his closing argument. I'll reset the clock to one minute. Go ahead, John. Again, I reiterate. The previous season, PSG won the Coupe de France by beating Monaco 2-0. Now, they say patience is a virtue and great things do take time. Well, that a certain method work for Mr. A, it doesn't mean it work for Mr. B. Now, we know this constant chopping and changing of managers is what the likes of Real Madrid and Chelsea do adopt in football. But it has worked for them in time past. And PSG are on that path. But it doesn't look like it's working. They've done it with Ancelotti, Laurent Blanc. They've done it with uh, Una Emery. They've done it with um, Tomas Tuchel. And now Pochettino. It's not working. I think they need to sit down. The PSG board led by Alcalef, they need to sit down and think. Can't we try something else? Can't we build a structure that will be recognized in world football? That would land us this holy grail. We saw the likes of Manchester United did it in time past. Even Ajax did it. You need to build a structure to win a, a trophy as big as the Champions League. Not every method would work for everyone. You have tried this one. It's not working. Give this man the time he needs. So your time is up. Thank you very much for that robust argument. It is time to make the decision. Before we go on our next break, we will... Um, quickly go to the phone lines. We'll come to social media later. If you haven't voted, please vote on Facebook, Nigeria Info 99.3. On, on uh, Twitter, it is at Nigeria Info FM. Straight to the phone lines we go. Let us see who we got there. Hello, good evening. Hello, good evening to you. Uh, this is Ibrahim. Ibrahim? Yes, I'm voting for Shebun. Okay, where are you calling from, Ibrahim? From Ikorodu. From Ikorodu. You are voting for Shegun? Yes. Okay. Uh, All right. Uh, I mean, it's okay if you will tell us briefly why, but if you... I mean, you are not under obligation. So, first vote for Shegun. Who's Ibrahim. next? Yeah. Hello. Good evening to you. Good evening. Yes, please. How are you doing? Let's meet you. I'm fine. You? I'm using the Okay. How are you? I'm fine. You heard the argument between Shegun and John. Yes. Who impressed you more? I think Shegun impressed me more. Shegun. You want this, this, and um, football, you need to spend enough money to win Lawrence this, this. So you've Shegun. Seen, okay. You've seen the life of Chelsea, just to Real Madrid. So he has been in the Champions League. So Shegun convinced me more. All right. Thank you very much. Who impressed you more in their performance? Um... You know, position is one thing. Delivery and composure and everything. So we appreciate that. Two votes to Shegun. Hi there. Good evening. Hello, good evening. How are you doing? 
I'm fine, Nika from my beloved. Welcome, Nika. You had Chegun, you had John. Who impressed you more? John. John impressed you more? Yeah. Thank you. You want to say why? Or No, it's okay. It's okay. You're gone. Hi there. Hello, good evening to you. Hello, good evening. Good evening and welcome. Let's meet you. Yes, Peculia from Peculia. Welcome, Peculia. So, so social growth would have happened if you're on top of the radar. It's you for me. <laughs> okay. So my vote goes to Shegun. Shegun yeah. takes it. Shegun leads three to one. If Shegun takes another call vote, well, he will take all 20 uh, percentage points via the phone lines. We'll find out in just a bit. Just before we went on that break, Shegun was leading on the vote counts via phone calls three to one, needing just one more to take 20% of the votes and come to the panel. Four votes already, a maximum of three left. Who will win it? The votes are on social media as well, Twitter and Facebook. On Facebook, it's Nigeria Info 99.3. You can view the live stream of this fan battle. On Twitter, it is at Nigeria Info FM. You cannot miss it. Let's go back to the phone line, Sarafina. Who is our fifth voter? Hi there. Good evening. Yes, please. How are you doing? Good evening, sir. I'm fine, sir. Welcome. Talk to me. Okay, my boy is my name. Okay. Where are you calling I'm from? Uh, Papa. Okay. I'm first for John. Okay. You vote for John. Excellent. That makes it 3-2. The next vote will be of some consequence. It can either tie it or end it. Who will that be? Hi there. Good evening and welcome. Good evening, Femi. How are you? Very well, thank you. This is Naya speaking, please. Welcome, Naya. Thank you. Um, okay, so I think I like John's um, closing argument, even his opening argument. The battle for me was won in the head to head, so I'll be voting for Shegun, please. So Shegun takes your vote yes, and thus takes all 20 percentage points available um, to uh, our callers via the home. So six votes, four to two, Shegun takes that. But there are still 80 points to fight for. 60 of those are in the hands of these. Three individuals with me in the studio, Sarafina, Adeze, and Brownish. Gentlemen and ladies, you heard the arguments. It's time for you to make a call as regard this two individuals. Who wants to go first? Let me go first. Adeze, let's go. Yeah, first of all, Shegun, uh, Shegun's mind play or mind games is actually expensive. Mm. He came here with the narrative that he's sick. But guy, I don't think mm. you're sick. That was maybe a way to unsettle or maybe make your opponent feel calm that you ha he has the upper hand. Mm. But I, I don't think that was uh, a kind of sick delivery. <laughs> it was a delivery <laughs> born out of a lot of preparation. Yeah. You know, he actually uh, marshaled his points quite well. And then he argued very well as well. The points he gave was quite impressive. He had to bring out the sports resources and all. Of course, we know that in football, mm -hmm. when you don't spend, you don't get the results. Yeah, certainly. So basically, he brought that out that if this coach uh, could do this with sports, why is he not doing it? PS? I think the, let me summarize quickly. The the one that really uh, he just mentioned this, but if he had elaborated on it, it would have been a landslide. Mm -hmm. That dressing room factor mm -hmm. that has been the bane of uh, Pochettino's failure at PSG. He has not been able to get out. Um, stamp it uh, his authority in that local room. How do you manage egocentric players like Neymar, Mbappe, and Messi? So basically, he, you know, he, he, he look at Messi. The other day, he was going to substitute Messi, and then he didn't even give his coach a smart. That's more like a coach that's not in control. So I felt he was going to elaborate. But however, his argument was fierce. He was vocal. He was, he knew what he wanted, and then he just. But for John, also made good point about structure and giving some managers time to build on whatever it is they, uh, they want to do. But eventually, I think Shegu was just, uh, it was um, intimidating. Yeah, I have to give it to Shegu, yeah. So Shegu takes Adaize's vote, and that extends the lead, doubles that lead to 40 points to nothing. 
Who goes next? Uh, Brownish? I'll go last. <laughs> you I'll want go to last. go last? I'll go last. Hmm. Um, well done, guys. But, John, you're giving us vibes of big man. You are doing battle. You are doing big man battle. I, I really don't understand. During the head, you had a brilliant opening and closing. But during the head to head, you allowed. That was where Shagun really did floor you. You allowed him a lot of room to make his point. You were more relaxed, allowing him to talk like, okay, I they look you now they talk. But that's not how it should be. It's a battle. You need to bring your A game. You don't need to allow your opponent talk and talk and talk and at the end of the day box you into a corner. That was what you did during this argument. And and I would say that's not for someone who wants to win one million naira, uh uh-uh, uh that's not the way to go. But I'll take nothing away from your argument. Like I said your closing was top notch for me. Opening top notch. The word Shegun won me over was the head to head. You were too relaxed. So I'll give it to Shegun. Shegun takes Sarafina's vote, extending that lead further to 60 percentage points. Brownish? Not that my vote is necessary in any way because it's probably not going to change anything at this point. But I do believe it's a landslide uh, in favor of Shegun. Unfortunately for me, um, I feel like this was not a very, very good battle, in my opinion, mm-hmm. because I feel like there was just a lot of unused material. Mm-hmm. It seemed like while Shego prepared a bit more, it was still a bit, it was still underprepared. Mm-hmm. It was very underwhelming. There was a lot of bluster and there was a lot of enthusiasm, but it didn't really make up for the, for the lack of, how would I put it, of um, perhaps, should I say, um, essence so to speak for the argument i feel like on shagun's part you could have mentioned um that Maurizio pochettino if he could take um, spurs to the uefa champions league final um using psg on this occasion that had so many players just listing out the entirety of the players that Maurizio pochettino had uh, in his psg side on this occasion uh, and the fact that he was unable to unlock them and take them to their best on not just one season but two seasons Mm. um would definitely have been a clincher for me on the other hand i also feel like i need to correct john in this past season the Mm. 2021-22 season psg did not win the coupe de france they actually were knocked out of both the champions league and the coupe de france in the round of 16 so that on its own was misinformation he lost me there because he was so he was so confidently putting forth wrong information it seemed like he didn't do his research on that and i felt like another thing that john could have used to combat that was if he had at the very least looked at the formations of any of the teams when of psg when they were knocked out you could have made a case for the fact that if pochettino did it at spurs with a, an average team and he fielded his best players it wasn't as a result of the bad coaching it was more as a result of the players not turning up which could happen season in season out regardless of how big they are so i feel like a lot of there was a lot of unused material but shegu despite everything was very assertive in his and john just seemed very unprepared but he seemed the most confident Mm. so that mixture kind of displaced his entire argument and as a result i feel like shegu got it hands down for me so shegu has swept all 80 points so far via the phones and a unanimous decision by uh, by the panel. There are 20 points left. They won't change anything, but would like to know what social media thinks. Sarafina. Yeah, us. let's start out with Facebook. Um, Shegun has got 65% of the vote, um, 35% to John on Facebook. On Twitter, um, I'd have to refresh one more time. And on, on Twitter, Shegun as well, 65.7% of the vote for Shegun, 34.3% of the vote for John. So it's 100% of a sweep, 100% of a sweep for Shegun. Congratulations, Shegun. You proceed to the next round, a round of four of 24. And you get to meet um, the person who was saved in Group D. Um, uh, you're shaking your head. <laughs> you don't want the person who was saved. Uh, well, we'll see. Um, thank you for coming. Um, you did say you you know you had had health issues. 
I believe you. And when Adeze says she she doesn't think you are uh, ill, that was my no style. She meant Mind that game. as a compliment. <laughs> uh, you know that you know you just don't look it. But I've seen you before in season two. I know there is even more fire in your belly. Uh, what are your words before we let you go? Well, uh, I just want to say a very big thank you to the judges and um, those who voted. Um, to my guys and everybody, I see you all. Um, um, while speaking right now, I'm still um, feeling an ending on my head, but um, it's not mind games. I just have to just say it because um, I don't want to disappoint at the end of the day. So mm. I've seen some of my colleagues, um, one of my closest friends, we were together. We pulled out, I think that was on Thursday or Friday. Mm. Because of the same um, health, um, health, health issues. crisis. So yeah. I just have to just like say it. So, um, I've been mm. getting WhatsApp calls and everything. That <laughs> Why did you come here? But um, I just have to do it. But um, nice bar to you on. And I think. Um, we're going to see the other day. <laughs> <laughs> Interesting. Yeah. So, congratulations once again. For you, John, it is not over. Um, yeah, you know, your, your journey um, to that one millionaire prize hangs in the balance. But that depends on what happens in the next battle, which is battle 12 uh, tonight. So, Shegun, um, unless you want to hang out, <laughs> you may leave. Yeah. We may, um, yeah, you have authority to go okay, and see you in about uh, nearly two weeks or so uh, for your next battle <laughs> uh, in over a week. Okay, that, hopefully, you would have really, yeah, you yeah. will come with your boxing exactly. gloves. Yeah. <laughs> you uh, for you, sure. John, I'm gonna ask um, that you wait. Do you have anything to say at this point? Oh, well, um, it was a nice experience, my very first, and um, there are lessons to be learned. I like that. Let's see, let's hope. You get a chance, you get an opportunity to take those lessons and put them to use subsequently. Thank you very much. All the best.